Okay, so we're gonna open up our oyster bags that you've gotten from us either at a food conference or organic farmers conference. And these are our kits that you can take home and you're gonna cut it open right away and within a few weeks you'll get your first harvest of mushrooms. So we're gonna put our gloves on, we're gonna clean all of our surfaces using our rubbing alcohol because it evaporates and it's like really effective uh, sterilizer and it's really cheap. And uh, now we're gonna cut into the bag, which is like really simple to do. Don't worry if you do cut into the medium, they're strong and resilient mushroom cultures. So, uh, but still try your darndest not to puncture the, the culture. So I like making little slits. Two on each larger side. And so you can barely see it. Some people like to do X's, X's are okay too, or little holes. But essentially where you make these incisions are where the mushrooms are gonna be coming out. And cutting the entire surface, or the entire perimeter of your mushroom bag is super crucial because you'll get many uh, fruiting sites of your mushrooms. We're not growing just a little, well, appetizer course, we're trying to grow some serious food and medicine for your friends and family, okay? So now we've cut these holes and we're going to roll the top down and we're able to do this a lot easier because, you know, we made the holes and the air is pushing out and then make a little clip there with your clothespin and it's just like ready to go. And then you just take your water that you've that you've set aside and it's decorated or you get some well water, some rainwater, and you give it a spritz a few times a day. And if we're growing these in a dry environment, even in the winter time, maybe getting um, like an old aquarium or old fish tank or a Tupperware tote and putting it in that container to reduce the evaporation. Because if it's dry, even if you're spritzing, the mushrooms are gonna come out as beautiful as this, as you see. And we can see up close here that we have some young guys popping out. This happened in just under two weeks. And this cluster is just a few days older. So these grow really, really quick. And when they look like this, and you can also reference our website or Instagram and see our mushrooms like in full bloom, that this is a good time to harvest. So it's nice to use a knife because you're not disturbing the mycelium as much, but just pretty much cutting the little tuffet of mushrooms like as, as flush to the uh, medium as possible. And then Blamo, super clean, no need to wash them, but you definitely want to cook them. Um, you know, a little saute with butter, oil, salt and pepper, it's amazing. But give it a spritz, and then in a couple weeks you'll start seeing mushrooms popping out of those, those slits there. Blammo, Ganoderma lucidum, reishi mushroom.